Hi, I'm Jeff with Emerald Vapors, and I'm going to show you how to oxidize a stainless steel mesh wick. Uh, you're going to start with your wick, make sure it's already cut to the, about the size of your device. You're going to put it in um, as far as the length goes. Once you have the stainless steel mesh wick, you're going to need a pair of pliers, a uh, blowtorch or a lighter, a um, bottle of liquid, probably a paper towel, and some water nearby. Uh, what you're going to do for starters is you're going to pinch the wick and then you're just going to burn it completely how it is. Once the wick is completely burnt you're going to roll it up as tight as you can. Uh, I feel like it works better the tighter the wick is. Some people like to have it a little bit more hollow and there's several different wraps you can do with silica wick around it or inside of it. Uh, this is just a more basic version with the stainless steel mesh. You're going to roll it up as tight as you can And then the mesh is pretty grippy, so what you can do is once it's rolled up, if you just roll it back and forth, it will kind of get tighter as you go. And you can just kind of work it down until it's really tight. And then once it's about the, the width of your air holes that you're going to put in your... Um, Rebuildable atomizer. Once it's about that size, then you can put it in the wicking hole. And the next step is you're going to want to get this oxidized. So to do that, you just burn it until it's red hot. Once you get it red hot, you're going to dip in the water, let it dry, and then you're going to repeat that process about three times. Um, you just want to, eventually you want to get this wick so it's completely black. Um, once you torch it a couple times, the next step is you're going to want to season it with your liquid. And if you just get it completely soaked with your liquid and then light it on fire, you just want to season it with your liquid so you can create some capillary action and that way the juice will absorb through the bottom of the wick all the way to the top when you're using it and you won't have a lot of dry hits it'll just stay wet so once you burn the liquid into the the wick you dip it again and then you repeat that process about three times eventually the wick will get completely seasoned and it will become a black color like that once it's completely oxidized and then you can put it in your device down the wicking hole and uh, then you're ready to, to wrap it up in your rebuildable.